Hey guys, uh, so we're here with another video, and also, before I keep this video going, I got a new microphone, so you may notice the difference in tone of the video. Um, it's the Blue Snowball, so, you know, a decent mid-range mic. It, well, probably not mid-range, but it's a decent mic. Um, but today we're going to do classes. I, I haven't used classes in a really long time, so... <laughs> Uh, I will still be um, kind of new to this, but it's okay. Uh, I have a brief memory. So the way that we make a class is we first define, you know, we we define the class, right? So we're going to call this uh, test class, and then we put a colon at the end. And within this class, we can actually define functions and variables and stuff like that. First thing we need to do is define uh, init. So this will happen at the beginning of the function. And we define it as a, uh, a function, right? And then we put self in the parameters bar. So we're not going to deal with this right now. Uh, right now we're just going to define some simple classes that will you know, print um, stuff. So let's go define print string, right? So this is going to print um, a string of our choice. And remember, in any class, you have to make sure you put self in there. And we're going to do print um, this is a string, right? Close that off. And then um, once we want to access that class, we have to set it as a variable. So um, we're going to say class test equals uh, test class. And that should get us our class. So we're going to do class test dot uh, print string. And that should get us what we want. Uh, unexpected end in block. Okay. We gotta make sure that we make this pass. Yeah. So it prints a string, and then from there we we can do a lot of other things. So first of all, let's let's define a variable in here instead of just doing pass, right? So we're gonna say. Um, test variable and we're going to set this equal to 5 or something. What we're going to do down here is we're going to access that variable within this class. So print and then we're going to put in within here we're going to say class test dot uh, test var and that should print that Uh, okay, let's see what's going on. So this will only go once we start the class. So we're going to do another print function, but instead we're going to define this as self.testvar. And let's do uh, class test dot and then test var, and that should work. Yeah, so it, it prints five, just as we wanted to. We wanted it to happen, and that should just be fine for that. Um, this is the the very basics of a class. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. But we can also, you know, we can find other, other um, classes or other uh, functions within here. Uh, we can define uh, variables in the initialization initialization step. So anything that you want to define in the very beginning, go ahead and put it in here. So that should um, work just fine for you. 
Uh, we're going to make a simple function that will take in something and then it'll print it. I mean, it's just basically a print function. We're going to say, or we're going to edit the current function that we have. Let's do that. So um, any any parameters that you want to define, you have to make sure you define them after self. If you don't put self in there, it's it's not going to work. It's just going to be like, it's going to spit out. It's going to be like, no, no, not going to do that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do, we're going to, this is going to be what our string is going to be. String. And we want to make sure that we convert it to a string. Because remember in the previous, or one of the previous videos, we showed you how to ter convert things to different values. So down here we're going to go into print string and we're going to enter in um, this this is a string right okay so that prints it out and then we're also going to make sure that proves that it works and 56 I'm just going to add a random number to it so uh, anything that we put in there it just it will um it'll print it right so that is the basics of classes if you have any questions i'll try to answer them in the comment section like i said i don't know too much about classes i haven't used them much um if i use classes i usually use them in c sharp so um if you have any questions i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability um but yeah that'll be the end of this video um but I will see you next time.